Welcome back to Wrestling World. Today we'll be taking a look at how WWE might have just been caught reusing an old storyline for Nia Jax, Nikki Cross's sad news, and more. Let's get into it with this Nia Jax reuse storyline. With WWE being on screen for decades upon decades, you're just bound to see some repetitive angles from time to time. But fans believe that we might be seeing WWE tap back into an old storyline for Nia Jax. WWE reused the 2019 Raw Town Hall segment for Seth Rollins' 2021 return, where all the superstars are surrounding the ring. But they all leave to the back once Seth Rollins starts to speak. Well, the latest segment from SmackDown with Nia Jax, Shayna Baszler, and Reginald also gave fans some flashbacks of a previous segment. So Reginald is having a really bad night. Carmella thinks he's been slipping ever since he's fallen for Sasha Banks. So she fires him and throws the champagne glass at him. Reginald then follows Sasha Banks to the ring to watch Bianca Belair for Shayna Baszler, but nearly causes Bianca Belair to lose the match. Bianca is still able to pick up the win, but tells Sasha Banks that she has to take care of Reginald and stop all this. Sasha Banks smacks Reginald and walks away once again. We follow up with Reginald walking backstage with all his belongings, ready to leave the arena because there's nothing left for him to do there. He knocks on Sasha Banks' door and gets denied again, but then he's approached by Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax. Shayna Baszler seems very aggressive towards Reginald at first, but it was Nia Jax who comes in and calms everything down, saying that Reginald was kind of cute. The screen fades to black and that was it for the segment. So what old storyline could WWE be reusing there? Well, so far it seems very similar to the love triangle that previously was going on for Nia Jax, Alexa Bliss, and Enzo. Same sort of idea. Nia Jax started eyeing Enzo because she thought he was cute and liked him. Nia Jax becomes so involved with Enzo that it was taking a toll on her friendship with Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss and Nia Jax's relationship was falling apart because Nia Jax was too concerned with Enzo. That's as far as we went with that storyline. It was obviously discontinued due to Enzo's WWE release. But Enzo did give out the endgame to the storyline that he claims was given to him by Vince McMahon himself. According to Enzo, he was going to get caught backstage with Alexa Bliss while Nia Jax walked in on them. That would later set up this big matchup between Alexa Bliss and Nia Jax fighting over Enzo. Due to Enzo's release, we didn't see that, but we still saw Alexa vs Nia that year. But it's interesting because maybe that's what WWE reuses here. Nia Jax and Reginald probably hit it off, he's happy to be with someone again, Nia enjoys his company, but maybe something happens there between Reginald and Shayna that really ruins their relationship and tag team. Something similar to what was supposed to happen between Alexa Bliss and Nia Jax. Maybe Nia finds out that Reginald and Shayna are seeing each other behind her back. That could definitely ruin Nia and Shayna's relationship. Nia and Shayna are already advertised as this tag team that's not really best friends. They do clash heads a lot, but they always seem to work it out. Maybe this situation with Reginald is the one thing that they can't work out, and it becomes the end of their dominant reign in the women's tag team division. Maybe WWE will reuse that Enzo story with Nia Jax vs Shayna Baszler and Reginald at ringside. A lot of fans were worried about Reginald sort of getting in the way of Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair. That really had fans worried. So, if Reginald sticks with Nia Jax and Shayna, that could keep things thankfully cleared for Sasha and Bianca. Sasha and Bianca do not need Reginald thrown in that feud for comedic relief or anything like that. Just let Sasha and Bianca tell their story without any side distractions. So, it just appears that Reginald may have found a new role by being on the side of Nia and Shayna. And we might very well see some sort of version of that discontinued Enzo and Nia Jax storyline from several years ago. This week unfortunately marks the terrible, sad one-year anniversary of WWE's final few shows that they had with fans. The final SmackDown episode to have fans in attendance was the last normal show on March 6, 2020. Raw fans would have its final show on March 9, 2020. Then two days later, Full Sail shuts down and NXT was moved to the performance with fans on March 11, 2020. 
Two days after, on March 13th, 2020, the world was shut down, and that marked the beginning of the empty Performance Center shows. So this week marks not only the one-year anniversary of everything that was happening one year ago, it also marks the sad one-year anniversary of the last time that WWE had normal, ordinary shows. Something that we still don't have even to this day. Nikki Cross was the one who broke the sad news on Twitter and reminded everyone of the one-year anniversary of those final WWE shows. Nikki commented on the one-year anniversary with this great and emotional message on Twitter. Exactly one year ago today was the last time there was a WWE show with fans in the arena. I wish there was more than 280 characters to explain how much I love and miss you. I wish I had known then that it was going to be the last time for a while I got to see you all. Things were about to change and no one had a single idea. The fans, the superstars, even WWE themselves didn't know that this was going to be the final few shows with fans. No one had the slightest clue. They went from thinking they'll be at the Performance Center for just a few weeks to realizing that this was going to last for a while. Thankfully, WWE came up with the idea of the WWE Thunderdome, which greatly improved the visuals and scenery of their product. They no longer were in this small gym-like room. They were back inside arenas with pyro, virtual fans all over the arena, and that was the closest thing to being normal that we were going to get for the time being. Speaking of the WWE Thunderdome, WWE will either have to relocate it or think about going on tour again. The WWE Thunderdome had to move out of the Amway Center when the NBA season started because of the Orlando Magic needing their arena back for the games. That's when WWE moved to Tropicana Field because it was still the offseason for the MLB. Well, springtime is quickly approaching and now the Tampa Bay Rays are going to need their field back for their games. So WWE's days of having the Thunderdome in the Rays field are also numbered. WWE will have to relocate to another inactive venue to move the Thunderdome there. It will be hard to find a spot considering a lot of these venues are back hosting events, but reports claim that WWE may already have their new location for the Thunderdome, and it's not that long from the current location. So we'll have to wait and see what happens there. Even though we just reached this one year anniversary and the future of WWE Thunderdome's location is up in the air right now, there is some good news. And that's the fact that WrestleMania will actually have live fans in attendance with nearly 20,000 fans. Of course, that's still a massive decrease from WrestleMania's usual 80,000 or so fans. But we can't be greedy at all. 20,000 fans is still 20,000 more fans than we have right now. So you just have to be grateful for that. So the end of this no fans drought is in sight. WrestleMania will finally have a live crowd. But the future of WWE fans in attendance is sort of unknown after that. Will WWE go back to the Thunderdome or could touring return sometime after WrestleMania? Tons of conflicting reports about this situation, so we'll have to see what ends up happening. But what are your thoughts on today's wrestling news? What did you think of Reginald going with Nia Jax and the sad news that Nikki Cross had to share? Leave your comments, don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on, and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.